In this Quick Tips video, we'll be walking through the process of setting up, building, and debugging a simple traditional Synergy project in Visual Studio 2019. By the end of this video, you'll be able to select the correct project template for your traditional Synergy application, create a simple app that writes to the terminal, build or rebuild your program, and use the debugger to identify errors and isolate specific blocks of code. In order to successfully follow along with the tutorial, we recommend that you have a basic understanding of traditional Synergy syntax. In addition, you'll need the following products installed either the professional, enterprise, or community version of Visual Studio, 64-bit and 32-bit Synergy DE, and SDI, our Synergy integration for Visual Studio. Now let's get started. Launch Visual Studio and select the option to create a new project. Visual Studio will automatically generate a solution that will contain your new project. For anyone used to Workbench, a solution in Visual Studio is equivalent to a workspace, and both Visual Studio and Workbench use the term project to describe a group of files that are compiled into an executable or library. For a traditional Synergy project that results in multiple mainline programs, you'll want to use the multiple mainline DBR template. In our case, since this is a very simple application with one DBR file, we're going to select the traditional application DBR template and click Next. Visual Studio will then ask you to name the project and the solution. We're going to call this My First Application and name the project Hello World, since we want this title to correspond with the functionality of the project. Now, you should see a program.dbl file open in Visual Studio. Your main routine will already be defined for you with main and main, and you'll see the procedure division defined with proc. In a new line, add an open statement to open the terminal channel in output mode. On the next line, use a write statement to print hello world to the terminal. To make sure the terminal stays open long enough for us to see our program in action, add a sleep statement underneath and specify 10 seconds. Finally, close the terminal channel, channel 1, with a close statement. When it comes to building your project in Visual Studio, you have two options, Build Solution or Rebuild Solution. Choosing Build Solution will only target files that have been modified, whereas Rebuild Solution will incorporate the entire solution into the build process. As you can imagine, rebuilding a solution with many large files can take quite a long time. In our case, this is our first time building the project, so both options will have the same effect. Select Build Solution, and you should see a Build Succeeded status message in the output window. Then, when you click the Start icon to run the program, you'll see the terminal appear, displaying Hello World for 10 seconds. Let's say something went awry with our program and the build fails. You can use Visual Studio's built-in debugger to help identify issues with your code. To run your app with the debugger attached, press F5 or select the green arrow button in the toolbar. The drop-down to the left will say Debug, indicating that the app is running in debug mode. Looking at the error list window, we can see that line 9 contains a typo. We'll fix the typo and run the program in debug mode again by pressing F5 and this time we'll see the terminal and hello world again. To troubleshoot further, you can isolate certain pieces of code by adding breakpoints. A breakpoint will pause execution in debug mode, providing insight into what's going on right up to a specific line of code. To add a breakpoint, make sure your cursor is located on the line of code you'd like to use as the stopping point, and press F9, or click on the margin to the left. You can remove a breakpoint by pressing the F9 key again or toggling the red icon using your mouse. Now, when we run the debugger by pressing F5 or clicking the arrow button, the execution will stop right at the first breakpoint. In this case, the terminal will open and it will be blank.
At this point, if the program included any variables, you'd be able to view the value of your local variables in the Locals window. Once your application grows in size and complexity, and you're juggling multiple breakpoints, you can keep track of what you have by opening the Breakpoints window. You can find this section by opening the Debug menu and hovering over Windows. That's it for this round of quick tips. If you'd like more information on Synergy Development in Visual Studio, make sure to check out these additional resources, including the Visual Studio playlist on the Synergex YouTube channel and our Visual Studio Migration Guide. Thanks for watching!